All right, on Monday here on YouTube, we will be finishing up building these shelves for a client, so check that out. But today I wanted to share with you my latest SketchUp course I created over at the Wood Whisperer Guild. Here is a little promo video for you. I'm Brian Benham and I am a custom furniture maker here in Colorado. And for the last 12 years, I have been using SketchUp as my main design tool. And this is my second SketchUp course here at the Wood Whisperer Guild. The first one, we covered the basics, but in this class, we are gonna go beyond the basics. So we are going to ease into the course and talk about textures and getting your wood grain going in the right direction on the boards of your models. And then we are going to get into modeling more complex shapes. Now I realize that there are extensions out there that will create a lot of these shapes for you, but we are going to use the native tools in the web-based app to do all these shapes. And that is because I believe if we learn how to draw these shapes from scratch, we will become better 3D modelers in the long run. Once you understand how it all works, it's easy to apply this knowledge to other things. So we're going to talk about spirals such as springs and screws and get into drawing nuts and bolts. And if you are so inclined, you'll be able to 3D print these as functioning pieces. Then once we get the basics of spirals down, we'll get into modeling even more complicated shapes and model a flame finial similar to what you see in period furniture such as a Queen Anne high boy. Then we'll finish off the course by designing a cutting board stand with some bonus content about how to get your model prepped for CNC work. Now if all this sounds really complicated to you, don't worry, I walk you through every step of each model as we go. Thanks for joining me.